Private security services represent about one and a half million workers, uh, which is about the same figure as police officers across the same territory. They protect critical infrastructure, public spaces, so they're uh, basically uh, part of the global security offer uh, in Europe. What we have learned with the COVID-19 uh, crisis is that private security is an essential service. We understand now uh, that we have a uh, a big issue with workforce. We've had for some years, but it's not going to improve. Uh, it's, it's still going to be a problem for the years to come. Private security is not simply about somebody standing guard. It is really a job which requires skills. The type of missions is, uh, are increasing. And on the supply side, uh, we have quite a uniform workforce, uh, which is more male and middle-aged. Imamo znači novo vrijeme koje nam donosi kompleksne izazove privatnoj zaštiti, potrebu za korištenjem novih tehnologija, proaktivno djelovanje, jačanjem mekih vještina, znanjem stranih jezika, znanjem bolje informatičke obrazovanosti i što zahtjeva zapravo u svemu tome stalnu edukaciju i privlačenjem mladog kadra. We want to make sure that the environment is right so that the workers are actually empowered to have the right skills, the right training, to make sure that they can use the techniques, which then again is for benefit for those who need the private security. All the countries in Europe have problems with the labor shortage and, and the skills and, and the development in the different countries uh, tells us that we do need to, to work really hard uh, with these questions. We are ref a reflection of society and so we have to, uh, our workforce need to also reflect society and we have to also discuss this uh, with our trade unions and at the same time also with the customers. I think it's important with EU social dialogue because then we can share best practice, we can help each other with the, uh, with the dialogue and, and make sure that we develop the entire industry all across Europe. We have to make ourselves more attractive, uh, we have to make ourselves more inclusive and so we have to adopt policies in this direction but we cannot do that if the regulator on their side are not making things um, better for us in terms of uh, going for quality procurement versus lowest cost procurement. That is why we together, COES and Uni Europa, push for a change in public procurement so that we really make sure that there is collective bargaining and if we have collective bargaining guaranteed by contracts we also make sure that the quality is right on the side of the workers in terms of pay as well as working conditions and if we have this the labour shortage will be reduced because the sector becomes attractive again. At national level, uh, that's also an area where uh, we have to work together with uh, our social partners, where the social dialogue is of crucial importance. Sektorski socijalni dialog osnovni je zapravo preduvjet za socijalno tržišno gospodarstvo. Za uspješno i sigurno gospodarstvo Europske unije potrebno nam je sveobuhvatan socijalni dialog između aktivnih socijalnih partnera i stoga je jačanje i promicanje socijalnog dialoga i kolektivnog pregovaranja na nacionalnim razinama od ključne važnosti. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, to, to do and it's particularly interesting that this project uh, is turning into concrete recommendations that can be adopted uh, across the board.